Hey guys, we got our brand new LS3 430 horse engine here for the Grande Juan build. Thought I would show it to you. We're going to go over some of the differences in the engines and bracketry and questions that you might have about how to do the actual hardware install on the engine. So let's get this thing unboxed. Alright guys, here's our new engine. A lot of noise around me, hopefully you can hear me. No, look, we got instructions. Make sure you read those. All right, this is a Crate LS3 engine. All aluminum, 430 horsepower, although we've dynoed these at 450. Very mild cam, idles about 600 RPM. They crawl really good. And let's go over a few items on this engine. This is a Corvette-based LS3 engine, so it has the low intake, low throttle body. This is your steam port on an LS3, on all the LS3 engines, whether that's a 480 horse or a 430 horse or even the 525 horse. This is a reverse flow cooling system, so the water goes from the bottom up. What happens is air gets trapped at the bottoms of the head and this steam port allows that to purge out. So it's very important that you connect this to the upper radiator hose. I prefer the upper radiator hose to a heater hose because the flow is better, more constant. This is a, this came set up for a Corvette. We can tell by this balancer. You can see how close this balancer is to the timing cover. Not very much room. If this was a uh, Gen 4 Camaro engine, this would be out further as well as the truck, which is what we're going to use in our accessory drive, which means we need to change this water pump out. And I believe we have a water pump here. I'll show that to you in a minute. So on the all aluminum engine, we're going to use these accessory bolt holes to mount our brackets. On the iron engines, you will not have this bolt hole here. You will have to drill and tap it. Uh, we're going to use this bolt, this bolt, and this one down here to mount our AC compressor. Now, I do happen to have an iron engine here we can take a quick look at. Um, you will notice that this bolt hole right here, uh, there's a boss for it, but it's not drill and tap. You'll have to do that in the 6 liter engines, the 6 liter truck engines, 4.8 iron engines and 5.3 iron engines like this one is. This third hole you will not use on our main AC bracket on the iron engines. You will use a front bracket that will box this all in. Uh, this does have the truck style balancer on it with the old style uh, trigger wheel. We'll go over that when we install the accessories. Uh, this is a automatic tensioner style uh, power steering pump tensioner assembly. This is our newest style and we'll go over that later also. This is a truck intake. I think you can see how much taller it is than the LS3. They have more torque than the LS3 but not quite as much top end. The end of the world on these is about 6,000 RPM. So let's go back to this LS3. This is the stock LS3 manifolds. Two bolt flange, two and a quarter outlet. They work fine. They fit the JK chassis okay. Um, not as good as the Trailblazer in my opinion, but if you get an LS3 engine, just go ahead and run these. On this side, this does get a little bit close to the upper control arm. Let me, our engine mount, let me show you on a build we're doing over here. Uh, let's see if we can get some better lighting here. Now, he has long arms in this. Uh, if he didn't have long arms, the original bracket would be up in here. And you'll notice that this, this pipe has to be tilted over just a little bit to clear it. With these long arms, we're not having an issue. All right, so back to the LS3. 
Here's your heater hose outlets. One's 5 eighths, one's 3 quarter. We're going to use 5 eighths on both. Uh, what I suggest you do is get some bulk 5 eighths hose and um, the JK uses 5 eighths outlets on the firewall. Uh, the 5 eighths will go over this with no issue. Now on the truck engines the intake is very tall and you can't get to the heater hoses so what I suggest you do is get some four foot heater hoses with 90 degree ends. Put those on the firewall end and trim them so they're as tight up against the firewall as you can get it and then run them down to the heater hose outlets. This is the purge valve. We're going to relocate this to the driver fuel rail just like the truck. So on this LS3 this, this line right here is the vacuum line from the intake. So we're going to have to uh, take this valve off. We're going to mount it on either zooming in here on either this tab or this tab and with the original bracket and then our purge line is going to come up right into it and this vacuum line is going to go right into the source side of the purge valve. This is your scavenge tube, your crankcase scavenge tube. That's going to go to the air intake tube. Uh, basically, this is where it pulls the fresh air in to vent the crankcase the, for the positive crankcase ventilation or PCV.